Hello. So after being gone for over a year, the last video that I had done on my YouTube channel was an unfurnished tour of our upstairs attic. So I took you through the whole process of renovating all of our design plans, what we wanted to do. And then at the very end, haven't shown you yet a furnished tour. So that's what I'm doing today for my first video back is to show you what we've furnished the room with so far. It's been great. We've lived in this space again for over a year. So we have a really good sense of what we use it for, what we haven't really used it for as much, but truly it's a multi-purpose room. So I'm excited for you to see that. Um, lots of different furniture from different places. We've got Target, um, Burrow, West Elm, a bunch of other places. So I'll take you through everywhere that we purchased all of our stuff, where everything's from. I'll link everything down below too. So if you have any questions throughout, you can always refer down to there if you like something that I purchased. Keep in mind, I did purchase a lot of things, these things about a year ago, probably within the last like year to six months, mainly because I had a baby and we just got really busy and I stopped really filming any videos. So I'm really excited to take you through and show you just every, I mean, it's again, it's such a great space. It makes us so happy up here. And the one thing we are lacking is art. So there's not a lot of stuff on the walls yet. I'm going to take you through and show you the different ideas of what I want to do art wise. And I actually want to make some videos based on that as well too, but we just haven't found a lot of pieces that match with the scale of the room really fit with with where we're going with the room, but I have a few ideas, so I'm excited to show you. So if you are new, please subscribe. And if you're liking me being back and liking the tour, um, please hit the thumbs up video. So let's get started and I'll take you through everything kind of section by section. Okay, so let's get started into the furnished tour. So this room for us is a combination of a guest bedroom right now currently with a bathroom. There's a living space over here. We have this gigantic TV as per my husband's request. It's our workout area where I'll show you where we do things storage wise. So we have a Bowflex bike and it's actually like a secondary office for my husband as well too. So it's been great for all of those features. Um, I would say that my husband probably uses it the most, even though honestly I'm working out here a ton too. Like I love using the bike. We've got weights in the closet, which I'll show you as well too in a minute. And we have this lovely contraption for our baby gate set up for whenever our kids are up here because we have a three and a one-year-old. So these stairs are actually very slippery and very tall. So we want to keep them as safe as possible. If you have a new staircase that you have installed and you want to have a little trick of not putting your gate, actually fixing it into the beautiful wood that you spent all of your money buying. Um, my husband came up with this great idea where he actually used um, this just two by four. He put some cardboard in between just to protect it again from that. And then we actually found these when we were buying some furniture. So he just put these on the corners to protect them from the zip ties. He just zip tied those really tight on both sides and then attached our baby gate to that. So, and it's nice too. This is the baby gate we have throughout our house but it actually does sort of match here. It's not the most attractive looking thing in the world, but very functional and great. So first off, I'll actually take you over to his office area. So there's a few new pieces here. This is honestly, we've repurposed a lot over here. I hate this pot. I want to figure out something else for this, but this, I think I we got from AC Moore or Michaels for like 15 bucks, this tree. So I want to find something a little more substantial to kind of do that faux... You can make it look a little, you know, bigger pot and you can kind of make it look like a bigger tree, not just this little dinky thing. But he's got this really cool desk, very like sleek and streamlined. And it's the standing desk. So it goes up and down. It's from a company called Uplift Desks. So he got that through work. Um, and this is again, his like primary area that if he's home, he's usually working up here just because it's the skylights provide such beautiful light in here and it's nice for him to take conference calls and all that kind of stuff. So this chair is an old one that we repurposed from our bedroom. It is a West Elm chair. Again, a lot of these things are a few years old, but I'll try and link it. This blanket is home goods. And again, it's just a nice textile to add to it. This rug also repurposed. We really weren't planning on using this one, but I kind of wanted something to sort of, I don't know, when you're at a desk, you kind of want something to warm up your feet. So 
don't love the size of this, but to be honest, for this space, it really does work as kind of like sectioning this off as the office area. And then we have these awesome blinds. I'll have to remember what company we got them from, but they're super clean, minimal. They're just kind of a shade that you pull down. And it's nice because you can put in your exact measurements and what you want. There's no cords, there's no issues, and they do black things out very well. So yeah, great stuff. So for the details of, this is more, I'm going to talk about furniture and kind of the last minute finishing things, but for more details about like the wood that we used, the spindles, bolsters, all of that kind of stuff, or baluster, sorry. Um, I'll link my previous video, the kind of finished one below too. So next we're going to move over to the bed. So here we have a rug from Chris Loves Julia with, I think it's like LOL or something like that. L Lola rugs, I forget. But I'll link the exact one we have if it's still in stock. I love the rug tech, like their, their actual pattern I think is beautiful. I will say the rugs feel a little thin. So underneath we have a padding, which really does provide a little extra cushion. And so I just love how it really ties in a lot of the colors that we wanted to go with up here. For the bedding, I, we're actually loving the bedding. Side tables and things like that, I would love to change out at some point for something a little bit more like vintage or rustic, but these are perfect for right now. Those are wafer from years ago that we got. We repurposed them up here. The bed itself is West Elm. We have the Lisa mattress. This bedding, the comforter cover and the, those shams are target i think it's called the like casa luna line from last year the sheets that we use behind are costco decent quality they're a little slippy like i might want to invest in something a little bit nicer for our guests for that to be honest um, and all of these throw pillows are target this is an ugg comforter blanket thing um, and we got that from bed bath and beyond the lamps are studio mcgee and again, these are Wayfair from a few years ago. So as you can see, the biggest thing, I do want to do something above. This is just such a huge peak. Unfortunately, it is asymmetrical, which bothers me slightly, but that's kind of just the way it is. But I wanted to kind of do something above the bed. I was thinking actually two things going over here, like taller, but I feel like this wall is so big that it can really support more height. So do you do kind of three pictures? Do you do something that's a little bit longer and narrower? So I don't really know exactly what to do, hence why we haven't done anything with it for a year. But love the bedding and love how this is all coming together. And again, the nice thing is, is I can just get, you know, four new pillows or three new pillows to kind of switch it up if I'm not loving the color palette. We usually actually do a Christmas tree up here in the winter, which is coming up soon. I'm excited. I'll probably do that with a video. And yeah, so I'm just loving all of that. Then when we come over here, so again, this is kind of like the living space. I will say this was a freaking awful corner to try and find a rug for, or sorry, a, a couch for. So we ended up lucking out and finding this one on Burrow. So again, I will link the one that we had. It's just like with the door here, it was really awkward to try and find something. I do like this couch. I wouldn't say it's like the deepest and the most comfy, but it works. And when we sit up here watching TV, it, it works really well. We also got this chair from Burrow as well to kind of have similar lines, but you can kind of see like the slope detail there. This one's a little bit straighter. So they, the legs match and they look similar, but there's enough difference in them that I think it kind of, you know, it works for that. So all of these two, I believe, are either Target or Home Goods. I got those. We got this tray from Burrow. The Ottoman has storage in it, which I actually forget about because we actually don't use it for storage right now. We have so much storage up here, which is incredible. But we got it in this really pretty blue color, again, just to sort of you know tie in with the rug over here. And this massive candle, I think, is from Target. And then this is an old arrangement that I had. I think it used to be in our kitchen actually and then I kind of repurposed up here with some more fall colors but yeah so loving that um just that look of real simplicity there 
Then in this corner, again, would love to get something like art-wise to put in the corner. And then we have this lamp from Ikea. Here, this so. is a basket from Target. I love their like large baskets of this size. But in here, I just have a pillow covering it because we have so many pillows. There are some toys hidden in there. And then this is a really beautiful piece that we've had since our apartment. It is a antique chest that we got from Soa, which is a market, kind of antique market in downtown Boston, kind of the south end. And then this, as you can see me in this thing, this is the, I believe, 65-inch Samsung frame TV, which is I would have been fine with the 55 inch, but the amount of joy that my husband Ben got from installing this and having this up here is, is worth it. So, um, yeah, we use that. This has been great, obviously for watching TV, but also I airplay a lot of my workouts. If I'm doing like Peloton or things like that onto there. Um, this is the Bowflex bike. So again, we use this and have, um, that we also have in this closet is kind of our like workout equipment storage. So we use the Bowflex bike, but we have a Peloton membership. So that's actually kind of a sneaky little thing that we do and it saves you a lot of money. So this rug, love, it is from Wayfair as well as the Chris Loves Julia one. So again, I'll link both of those if they're still in stock. But I liked that it was again, a little bit more subtle. There wasn't as much color in this one. And I don't know, it's just, it's very, this one's really soft and very nice. Again, the Chris Loves Julia one is nice, but I wouldn't say it feels as plush. We have a padding underneath this one as well too, but I just, I love the feel of this one on our feet. So that one's been great. And then moving into this closet, this is kind of like our catch-all closet for a lot of stuff, but again, tons of storage. So probably should have cleaned this before <laughs> filming this, but we keep our foam rollers, workout shoes, coats. We've got a bench, we've got Bowflex weights, which we use a ton. Extra kids clothes from just life jackets. So winter jackets are up here currently, which we will shortly bring down. But the solution that we did do because we had the slope ceiling is we, and by we Ben found these kind of rods. So we have this system where this is at each end and then we have these anchored into the like essentially the studs that were there on either side. So that works really well. It's really kind of the only way that we could get this to be so close to here and still have enough storage in the back for, for those. So that's been really great. So what I'm thinking of doing over here is to kind of integrate the fact that there's a big TV over here. I wanted to almost do like a cascading, what would I call it, like wall collage gallery wall kind of like coming up from down here because it's a huge sort of vertical space this way so to kind of do a few larger photos kind of wrapping around and having it look like that so I have a few ideas for that that's what I was thinking of doing however what has happened over time is that the plaster has settled so there's actually a big line right down the center kind of here that they might need to come back and replaster so our thought was do we want to put them all up and then have them take them down? But honestly, I kind of just want to get something on the wall. So that's something that I was thinking of doing there as well too. So I'll insert just a picture of what I was thinking in terms of the layout here. And you can see what I was talking about with that. So again, just sort of like a couple large photos into small photos sort of cascading to bring it all together. Because this is a frame TV, you actually could technically put a picture on it. It obviously wastes energy if you're just leaving it on all the time. But that was one thought that we had for that. And then over here, I've done a full breakdown of our packs, wardrobes, and how we had those integrated into the design. So we knew when we were making or renovating up here that we wanted to do built-in wardrobes walking through. To actually get a company to do that was going to be thousands upon thousands of dollars to do like custom closets. So we decided to do the pack systems and um, I, I'll link the video below where I do like a full breakdown of everything that's inside. But, you know, we've got the full kind of this. It's so underutilized in terms of what we actually use it for storage right now. Just like extra shoes and linens essentially. But uh, love this space and it's been great. So, so now into the bathroom. This is probably one of my favorite bathrooms that Ben and I have ever really designed or done. 
So just to take you through the space. So I've already taken you into this space before, but just to remind you, so we've got our shiplap wall, we've got our target mirrors. These are from build.com, the sconces. And then we've got this unit itself, the blue uh, vanity is from Costco. I believe these are from Home Depot. Again, I'll link everything. I got these sort of trinkety, like these little canisters and the soap dispensers from Home Goods. Vase is Home Goods. I need to make this more wintry. And then we've got just a candle. So this actually been built as well too from some leftover, I believe it was leftover butcher block that we had, but we were maybe even going to use the leftover material from the beams, which we have above the bed area in the main space. So we just really use that It's and just added feet to it. So it's like such a simple design, but I love these. And they're like, they're anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks on Etsy. And we made it free with wood that we already had. So this is great. We love the storage and we installed these. Again, same thing. This is actually a leftover hardwood, I think. I forget where we got this board from, but um, these are antique hooks that we found on Etsy. And so we just got a, re a regular piece of wood, installed the hooks, and those just look really nice with the towels hanging. Love that. So I just love the look of that. The skylights in here have made the biggest difference. They bring in so much natural light. It's incredible. And still love the beam detail that's brought in through here. And then we have our brass chandelier as well too, which is just, I find so breathtaking when you come in here. But you know, people have said like, oh, you have the black and the, you know, you're sort of mixing metals. You have the black and the brass. So where we really did it is I incorporated the black and the brass in one element. So in the sconces, you'll notice it's both brass and black. So it complements into this and then ties it into the hardware in the shower. So we've got the tile um, herringbone mosaic on the floor. So these are one by fours. And then in here we have the small, I think it's like a less than one inch by, I forget what it is, but this is, this is Home Depot. So this is from an independent company in Boston. And then this is from Home Depot and this is from Home Depot as well too. So we did the picket. And then the hardware is from Kohler. Those bottles, I love their plastic bottles from Amazon. And they just look really clean and I like that they're plastic. I mentioned this in my last video, but I like that they're plastic so that if they ever fall on the marble, they're less likely to chip. And I just think that the detail in the shower, I mean, it's just beautiful, I love it. And I love the simple glass, seamless with the um, hardware. And then the toilet, not super exciting, but again, this area needs some art. We need to sort that out and figure out something to do art-wise in there. But Love this room, such a nice bathroom, and the details are just beautiful. So loving it, loving it. So that is the finished attic furnished tour. So I'm excited that I could finally take you guys through and you know talk about each piece where we got them. We still need to get things on the wall, but I never like to rush those kinds of things. The mural kind of, I keep calling it a mural, the gallery wall, I think is something that I would like to do um, before Christmas. We have family coming to town, so it'd be nice to kind of have something on the wall that just makes it feel a little bit more homey and fresh and not that there's just a huge TV on the wall, but we love this space so much. The beams, again, just being in here and having the lightness and the skylights and it's so bright during the day, which is just wonderful. So we love it and I'm really excited to be back making more videos and excited for the holiday season. So. Subscribe if you haven't and hope to see you guys soon. Bye.